Wow. Mm. I think my jaw locked up from having to bite into this burger. It's so big. I gotta wear like a garbage bag to eat this thing. Seriously. This is Burgers and Beers. El Dudorino. <laughs> We have uh, we have some very weird beer here for you to try. Weird? <laughs> yeah. What's weird about this beer? So this is called horchata. So I love you horchata. Mean like the Mexican drink? Rice drink, vanilla, yep. cinnamon, all that good stuff. So it's inspired by that. So there's like next to no hops in this. Like I put just enough hops to basically get by. I mashed at a higher temperature so you're gonna have some more residual sugar. I added lactose sugar uh, to sweeten the whole thing. And then I hit it with about 26 pounds of Saigon cinnamon and a pound of Tahitian vanilla beans. Wow. It's pretty weird. So uh, I'm thinking like even before I taste this, like yeah. this is gonna be like a massive huge body beer. Yeah, and it's 8%, so it's kind of high in alcohol. So, <laughs> so don't pound this? It's don't not a, pound not it. a patio hey, pounder? But you know what? It's going to go down pretty smooth. So here, cheers. Cheers. Nice nose, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you get all cinnamon up front. Man, the cinnamon's really coming through. Get the vanilla in the back. Mm -hmm. to bite into this burger, it's so big. I gotta wear like a garbage bag to eat this thing. Seriously. Mm. Yeah, the pastor sauce didn't disappoint. Mm -hmm. Smoky, sweet, spicy, all those good things. And then with the beer. Yeah, like freaking clockwork. Wow. Yeah, that's really awesome. It's obviously the sweet of the you beer. Cutting right through all that spiciness. Oh yeah. This is what you need on this burger for sure. <laughs> you gotta have on the burger. <laughs> after tasting okay. that beer. Yeah, for sure. And like it needs that acidity. Yeah. Because I think that the fattiness and the power of this burger is bringing out a lot of weight in the beer. Totally. It's, getting, it's becoming really milky. All right. So let's, let's do, let's do a second. Like, let's do a second take. That's right. All right. You're totally right. That just brightened the whole thing mm -hmm. up. Exactly. That's really awesome. I never would have thought to squeeze a lime on my burger. Well. That's perfect. It's amazing that just like one element yeah. to totally change the dynamic of the plate. It's a literal battle happening on a can between a ninja and a unicorn. No, no crazy ingredients, just hops and beer. And so this one is crazy aromatic. I just wow. absolutely love this beer and I'd love to get your impression of it. Great nose, huh? Yeah. Lots of aroma hops. There's so much going on in here. Mm -hmm. Just looking at it, I thought it'd be more light, kind of like, you know, summer crusher, and it's not. This is like full on, yeah. like, flavor bomb. On my palate, it's like, it's going crazy. It's yeah. like everywhere. It kind of starts like, kind of with like lychee and like kind exactly. of some, some tropical stuff going on, but then it finishes like pine. Oh, yeah. And like, it's kind of got that gripping kind of bitterness that we uh, love about classic IPAs. And these guys have been doing this forever. Because they're so crazy and they're so freaking weird and they've got like just like crazy colorful artwork, I don't know where you're at, but I think we gotta take this thing to the next level. Tell you something. After my three <laughs> days in the desert, oh. I had a vision. It's gonna be interesting having uh, both a uh, massive coronary and diabetes at the same time. Well, Elephant in the room, the, the, the very uh, Simpsons looking donut. That's yeah. exactly right. Oh so, God. you know, the donut is specifically to match the label yeah, on oh. the can. How can we even compare a burger to this beer? Right. So, I gotta hand it to Pipeworks. Like, this is what I'm trying to do here. So, <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at yep. that, that's crazy. Yeah, that's what you like to see. Perfectly clutched egg. Oh, no, God. Well, I can tell you what I'm gonna do. Check that out. I'm just gonna throw that's that away. crazy. Because I'm doing it with my hands. I mean, I feel like if you're gonna eat something so fatty and, and gnarly, you just gotta let it happen. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Um, 
I don't, wow. think, I don't think I've ever experienced these flavors together oh before. My God. And I'm confused. I think I just saw God. The sweetness of the donut, the spiciness of the sauce, and then you made it all work together so it's like this sweet, spicy, acidic wow. combo with a donut with sprinkles on it. And it still tastes this is really crazy. good. <laughs> it's actually really good. Honestly, good I, I can't believe this is working. It's fun. That is tasty. Oh my God. All right, Brotato. We are back to the basics on this one. So this is gonna be a kind of a challenge in elegance, really, which I don't think you're gonna have any problem with. All right. This is Della Kolsch. Great name. Thank this you. This beer was literally brewed as a classic style Kolsch beer, okay? This neighborhood, they wanted something crisp, they wanted something clean, something that they could drink many of, super sessionable. You can crush four or five of these bad boys and still have a, a night ahead of you. Uh, I made this for the common American working man or woman. The idea here was to take kind of some really high quality German malt, uh, let it attenuate all the way down, basically let it dry out, crisp, clean finish with like a nice kind of malt backbone and a little bit of hoppiness like they do in uh, Cologne, Germany. This is awesome. It's a good base. Oh my god, dude, mm -hmm. this thing is gonna slide apart. Great beer. Mm. I wanna make it like, it's like this melting like cheddar on. Yeah. We can just like make it like a Mornay sauce, nice and creamy. So this would be kind of like the Americanized version with some American yellow cheese. That's why it's America burger. Freaking love that. I'm gonna do your idea of dipping the, the fry mm -hmm. inside of the melty cheese Mornay sauce. And with the beer, it's like flavor bomb. I think that's what makes a great pairing, right? When not only can the beer bring out qualities in the burger, but the burger actually brings out some subtle nuances in the beer, exactly. which I think is exactly what works here. And the fried kale is awesome. This looks like, what is it, dinosaur kale? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The vegetables kind of like giving into, I think, the malt. Exactly. I think that's what's happening, is where it's like kind of like the kind of nice firm malt backbone pairing with these uh, vegetables. Just so I good. love that. Like you said, like when we drank it first, I'm like, this is really light, crushable like summer. Yeah. And then when you get it all together, it's like a great pairing that has body enough to stand up to something like this. Like yeah. a double a double <laughs> yeah. burger with like Mornay sauce, fries, that you get everything going on. I love it. And the beer still can work. Hell yeah, dude, good job. You. This is great. Whoa. Check yeah. that out. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, I like pink beer. Uh, uh, no, you do. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, so this is called Juice E Juice. So a little bit of a Spanglish happening there. Uh, that is a, what they call like a hazy, like New England style beer. This whole variety of beers is called Juicy Beers. It's a way to kind of talk about the hops, which are very kind of like tropical and citrusy. And then I hit it with actual juice, which was uh, raspberry juice. Um, a nice. lot of raspberry juice. So awesome. it's got like a little bit of like a tartness and sweetness, and then it's got like a little bit of the bitterness from the hops in the back end, but not too much. It's kind of really lovely, almost herbaceous. Wow. This is kind of cutting edge. Like not a lot of people are doing these right now, uh, especially not fruited variations. So I feel like we got to take the burger even to like that next 2.0 style level. I'm with you. Yeah. Now, this is like my style. It's almost like you're approaching kind of like that uh, little bit of dryness in it, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like makes me think about wine pairings and things <laughs> like that. And of course it does. go. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a burger for chefs by chefs if I've ever tasted one. I'm getting that like super buttery fat richness mm -hmm. from that foie gras. Right, it's kind of almost melts over top of the burger. Exactly. And over my hand. Oh man, that's awesome. Then the raspberry just cuts through all that oh, fat. Man. 
kind of like a digs out a trail mm -hmm. flavor. I can see this like, kind of like mm -hmm. chunk of like duck confit and mm -hmm. maybe some cartilage that has just been like cooked low and slow that I'm about to bite into. I've really got foie gras falling off the back of my burger, which is probably one of the sexiest things that's ever happened to me, which is sad. Yeah, it's beautiful. And no cheese. It doesn't need doesn't it. Need it. No, not at all. I feel like the, the strawberry is really working with the fattiness and yeah. the foie and everything. I think the um, the chicory though does have that kind of crunch though that I really like. And then it does butt up really nicely with the her herbaceousness on the finish of the beer. That's fun. That is a fun pairing. Love that. You know, Trevor, one of the great things like working with you, we have such an arsenal of like things that we can use and kind of like that knowledge bank and being able to bring all those things together and say, you know what, I love this beer and having those experiences in the past to be able to put them all together on a plate like this. Yeah. Man, this is like, it brings like something completely different than we would thought about before. Absolutely, man. That is so exactly the kind of stuff that you could put on like a fine dining menu. That's exactly right. Easy. Fine dining beer, fine dining menu. That's it. Cheers. Cheers.